guess what your girl is back <laughs> it's been a while some people reach out to me on instagram asking where i've been thank you for that now i'm back so today i'm gonna talk about the new update of the software for my tab which is the samsung x6 lite this is the old version not the 2022 this is a 2019 version but still it works great on 2023 <coughs> so the new update is new software which is the one ui 5 and also the android 13 running on my tab x6 lite 2019 so the first which is my favorite updates from this newest up latest update is the lock screen where i can customize the lock screen easier so if you're someone that love like aesthetic devices aesthetic you know home screen and all those things if you like to decorate this new update is for you so the things that we need to do is just like tap the screen for a few seconds and it will show this edit mode for the lock screen and you can customize the wallpaper the size of your cloaks and type of cloaks that you want the notification and the shortcut apps that you can add and also the contact info I'm going to show you those in a little bit so I'm just going to use my S Pen that come with the tablet my favorite for this customization of the lock screen is the clock so with the clock you can like enlarge the size and also you can like pick which type of clock do you want to use just like the font of the numbers for the clock and just like type of clocks it is like analog or digital anything you like this remind me of the ios update that i saw on tiktok where they just like use this kind of type of clock on the box screen and also down here i can adjust the color of the clock we have like the gradient color which is one tone color or you can pick any color palettes that you want and now the wallpaper so for the wallpaper it have like this default wallpaper where whenever you bought like a samsung tablet it will come in this wallpaper and then we got like the gallery any picture that you have in your gallery you can set it up as your wallpaper for the screen and then graphical this is new the graphical has a quite few interesting selection i really love this the first one and I'm just going to test out a few of the wallpapers for the graphical and we have like colors this is like the gradient one you, you can see here it have like different types of gradient I'm just going to test one of it and I'm going to pick this one it looks kind of like a cloud so here's how it looks like and you also can change the gradient color to your like So next we go to the best part of the updates after the lock screen which is the gallery. You know those like those trending things on TikTok where the iOS new update you can get like these auto cutouts from your pictures on the uh, gallery using Apple products. So pick any picture. I'm just gonna choose this picture. Okay, this picture have like the girl and the background. I'm just gonna go to the edit and then just like draw lines around the girl, the woman. And then it doesn't have to be perfect because at last it will be automated. This you can pick it its free form or shape. And then once you're done, you have this. 
yes and then you can just like customize it if you want to add like borders with different colors you can or you can just have it this way the cutouts save it on your gallery and if you are someone that loves to journal or whatever it is that needs transparent background this update page you need this this helps a lot so the next one is the stackable widgets this wasn't here before but this was here long ago in ios software back then like since long ago but finally we got this finally so you can just take it just pick any widget i'm just gonna use this like calendar and the clock one and you can see here it's stackable that's the first one the second one is the color theme when you customize your home screen you know whenever like you change a uh, wallpaper and will like give you the suggestion of colors the thing is you can apply filter to your wallpaper that you choose and also you have this like color palettes that you can choose this was here before the update as well but the new thing is you can apply the color palettes on the google play store apps like youtube google chrome and things like that but certain apps still doesn't have the option to apply the color palettes like instagram but the other apps like whatsapps and all those things that's new if you're someone that love changing the icon this will be helpful but for me for me no if you like to custom your your device this will be a great great option great updates for you because before this if you want to like change the color of your youtube icon i have to like we have to use a third party apps from play store but right now we don't have to do that anymore because we have this and also it also changed the color of the volume buttons before this it doesn't so my volume buttons like pretty cute i'm just gonna oh my god things about me is i don't like when the color of the change the icon as well it's it's hard for my brain my brain is slow i'm stu kind of stupid so i cannot re i cannot recognize the icon anymore after the color changes so i just like to keep it at default so i can identify it easier and then the next small update i would say is the clock app for samsung where you can like add multiple timer i'm just gonna show you i'm gonna add a couple few timers and you can rename it whatever name you want okay and then there we go we have like three timer going all at once that's new which is not really like functional for me at least maybe for someone else yes but not for me and then when you like exit the clock app it will show this pop-up pop-up windows that notify you the timer and then after a while it will, it will changes to smaller pop-up windows which is this one you can relocate it and then the next one is another small update which is the notification on the setting when you go to like whatever app it is i'm just gonna try on telegram you can see here notification types you can like the notification setting is more refined where you can like easily see it i heard someone said that this we make the ios 16 you update something like that i don't know i don't have ios and then next is the laps if you go to settings and go to laps and there will be like um swipe for pop-up view and swipe for split screen this is like the easier way to do split screen and pop-up view 
me just gonna show you. <gasps> okay. Oh my god, my dyslexic hand. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I don't know. I just know from this side. Okay. That's for the split screen. And then for the pop-up windows. Is that from the corner? So wait. What do I do that? What was the instruction again? I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Pop up view. Swipe from top corner towards the middle of the screen. Okay. okay. Cannot do it. God, I'm stupid. It says light top corner. Oh my god, this is so hard. I don't know how to do it. This like, there is like this one. This icon. Click on it. Pop windows. This is the pop-up window. Updates of the One UI 5 and Galaxy 13. A hey, Galaxy 13. <laughs> Android 13. I will be back with new videos, which is the customizing my beautiful, beautiful tab. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. We'll see you again in the next video. Bye. Bye.